Tools that can help save your life if you're literally trapped in a bad car crash. But how much do you know about these extrication tools, often referred to as Jaws of Life? News Channel 3's Aaron Dimmick suited up to get a first-hand account. Aaron. Marcy, I was there as local firefighters trained using these rescue tools. I found out a lot of hard work and planning goes into using them. And what to do if you find yourself trapped in a car. They're there during some of the most terrifying moments of your life. It's obviously a very traumatic experience. But trained firefighters using the latest rescue tools can help cushion the blow after a car crash. Firefighters in training from local departments are at LKQ Auto Parts in Kalamazoo. This is the first time that they've had an opportunity to put their hands on the tools and actually go out. LKQ donated some junked vehicles to be cut up. Firefighters use three different tools to reach a victim. Hydraulic devices that cut and spread metal, often called the jaws of life, and one that pushes apart large pieces of the vehicle. They've been a part of firefighting and rescue for a long time. Cars are getting safer. They're using different uh, materials, metals. It's more difficult to cut, and so our technology on the rescue side of it is constantly keeping up. I suited up in firefighting gear to see how these tools operate. I had to make sure this pickup truck was free of glass. glass. Then I got my hands on the cutter. You hold the heavy device with one hand, opening and closing the blades with the other. The sharp jaws twist and turn the metal until it snaps. We always have them with us when we roll up to a uh, vehicle accident. A lot of other vehicles, you know, we are able to just, you know, take a door off and, and the patients are coming out. But you always have, you know, vehicles that are 30 years old out on the street. And those ones, you know, tend to crumple up a little bit more. After learning some basics, I went behind the wheel and got a first-hand look at this kind of rescue, this time as a victim. Firefighters conducted this like a real emergency. A driver pinned in a crushed car. We had multiple cameras set up showing you all the action. First, they send someone in to take care of the victim. Sir, you're going to be okay. You just don't know what's going on, and you hear all this loud popping and ripping and tearing of metal. So we try and get someone in there, and their all their job is is to talk to the patient and keep them calm throughout the incident. I was covered with a blanket as the glass shattered. It's going to be pretty loud, sir. Yeah. Crews went to work, cutting the vehicle away from me. A firefighter was there the entire time, holding me still. Sometimes when you do have a spinal injury, we don't want to maneuver to the body. Because I'm so tall, they had to cut and push the dashboard off my legs. Then, I was finally free. Okay, we're going to slide them up on three, okay? One, two, three, up. Good. I walked away unharmed but couldn't help think about what to do if this was a real crash. First, don't panic. Don't freak out. We have highly trained people that are coming to get you. Listen to what the rescuers are telling you. We're going to give you direction. We're going to explain to you what's going on before we do anything. Every vehicle, every crash is different. It's just trying different techniques and uh, figuring out the puzzle. Veteran firefighters also train on these tools to learn the latest techniques and stay sharp. Reporting live in the studio, Aaron Dimmick, News Channel 3.